Hi YouTube viewers, welcome back to my next video on Tech Code. So in this video, I am going to tell you about the finite state means one of my subscriber or a viewer. I can tell. I don't know if he is a subscriber or not. He asked me about this in some of my videos. See, can you please explain FSM? So Raj Vardhan G. So this video is for you. So four days ago you have told me. So due to some problems, I I work in an organization. So that's the reason. So due to the due to this problems, so I have delayed it. But anyways, thanks for your comment. But for you, this video goes okay. So you have asked me about this. Uh, somewhere you are using wires and somewhere you are using resistors and what is that? I will be making another video for that and I will be telling you where to use resistors and where to use wires. Okay. So wait for that video. Soon I will be making it. And do you take any classes online? You have asked me. It's a very good question. It depends. Okay. It depends upon the project. If the project I handle, I can see that if it is good, okay, and well enough. Then I take any projects. Viewers, which are you are new new to my this channel, you are can't able to understand. But I do keep on repeating these things. I read each and every. Comment and then I reply. It. I study it and then I reply it. Okay. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe this channel for more updates and stay tuned to this channel. So let us go for your this comment, right? FSM about your FSM. I will be telling. So every time in my videos, I am getting this. So let's start this with new source HDL module Millet. Okay. Just we require reset input. See, actually we have different states. Let us go step by step. Okay. We we have different state. If input is equals to zero, if the current state is S one and the input is equals to zero, then output will be equals to zero. This is Millet finite state machine. Millet and more are these two finite state machines, right? You got to know. So I this is Millet. So anyhow, I am going to tell you about the Millet right now. And then if it is zero, then output will be zero. And if it if the input is one, then output will be zero. Okay. So this is here we get an input and output, right? And everything depends upon clock. So let us start output, and we require a clock. So these three things required. Reset is anyhow input. This is an input. Then this will be an output, and that's it. That's enough. That's enough for requiring. Let us discuss briefly in the picture. So in state one, if current state is if it is resetted, then it will be obvious automatically we will be declaring it as a S1 state okay currently it will be an S1 state if input equals to 0 then output will be 0 and it will be going to next state this S3 so if input is equals to 1 then output will be equals to 1 and uh, it will be going to S0 so basically we will start from S0 sorry so S0 and basically if it uh, input is equal to 0 then it will goes output equal to 0 and goes to S1 state or it will equals to input equals to 1 then output will be 1 and this is a normal common FSM if you have a common FSM for any diagram for example half adder for full adder if anything any block if you have a finite state machine then you can implement by using this technique it's very simple I'll be showing right down to you so basically I have written the code here so basically the number of states you have declare them here okay the number of states you have see I have here three state four states okay S S zero S one S two S three. I have four states here. So basically, so I have declared four states here. Okay. So declare after architecture, you declare the states. Type here. Type is state here. Remember, type is state. How many states I have? And signal. I am declaring current signal and next signal. We have current state and next state. Right. Current state and next state. Those are state type. Right. So declare the states. After declaring the states, you begin the process. Okay. So always begin the process. If you write a process inside it, I have told you many times. Inputs should be declared in the process. So let us paste it here. Oh. So process clock and reset. If reset equals to one, then I am making it as S zero state. Current state will be S zero. Or next state current state will be equal your equals to next state. Okay. Current state will be your next state. So remember it the basic it is okay basically for every thing you will be writing for every melee you will be right you will be having this okay default state will be s0 and the next state will become your current state next state will become your current state next time when it will go okay for every rising edge of clock if you if you can take it here for every falling edge of clock also you can take it up so next thing is now state machine process so i will be explaining each and everything in this process so basically, if you gone through my other videos also, I have told you many cases about cases about if and else blocks. That's it. Both these two things are only required. So process again, I am taking your current state because here I have current state here. That is my input here, 
and depending upon the input what will be my current state uh, what will be my next state i will be deciding right so an input will be my current state and all, as well as an input so where i have told you this is my input and if it goes to here the current state will be i know i want this current state also status so i want the current state status and i want the input value because if i have a current state and an input sorry for the disturbance i don't know why these people keep horn my house is, home is so inside the from the road but also ke, people keep horn here so anyhow so i want this current state as well as the input so that i can decide this output as well as my next state okay so where i went here it is right so output as well as my next state i'll be getting if i have current state and input then i can decide my output and the next state value okay so this is what i have given so if it is s0 see case current state i'll be taking a current state so basically i should keep this aside and then explaining it will be nice right so basically i am here s0 okay my current state is equals to s0 current state is when it is s0 okay when it is s0 if the input value is equals to 0 okay if input value is equals to 0 then the output then my output will be equals to 0 and the next state will be equals to s1 else if the current state is not equals to s0 if it is equals to s1 then what do you have to do then case 2 where s1 if input is equals to 0 you can able to see here where it gone yes if input equals to 0 then it should go to the output should be 0 and it will be s3 as you can see output is equals to and it is s3 otherwise it should be in the same state s1 state next state equals to s1 and the output is equals to 0 right similarly i have written for this and this you can checked out check out in my website <laughs> in the below description as as usual nowadays i am providing this description also in descriptions earlier i used to provide in mails but now i have created one blog small blog you can see the scrolling down where i am getting my blog so where that in that you can find it and please subscribe this channel okay so see i have got a warning something something warnings i have got no problem so anyhow created let us check it okay yes. let us check it let me save it off let me see there is a syntax error here let me check from first oh my god no problem let me check hmm. syntax error near process syntax error near begin 56 line and okay here i have end okay oh, yeah. i have your end because see I have started here begin and I end here. So as usual, it should be here also. Process begin end it, end process. Okay. Without ending this process, I can't start this process. Okay. Uh, as usual, save it. Let me run it again. Let us see some errors here. Fifty nine, fifty eight, fifty six, fifty nine. Okay. Out. Now go now for it. So as usual, I have synthesized it. There were some errors which have a small, simple errors there. So here it was no semicolon, and here there was semicolon. That's it. That's it. Those two errors I found, and here there was two end process as usual. So that I have removed it. Now let us simulate it. Mm, yes, I want to say. So let us simulate it. So let us have a look. Okay, let us have a look here. So basically, this video went long. I will be cut down, short it out. So let us force clock it. One. Zero and hundred apply. First of all, let me make it reset force constant with reset apply. Okay, let me run it off. Input I have not given yet. Let me give, give the input also. Force clock one zero and it may be two hundred. Let us apply. So zero it is. Let me apply it. Okay, and let me remove the reset. Right. Force constant. <coughs> it is force constant. Right. Force constant. It is equals to zero. Enter. Let's see. I have run it. Basically, we got here. Let me zoom it off for you to see how it moves. So. When it was reset till then the current state was s zero current state and next state what s two okay current state was s zero and next state was s two as soon as I have downed it can you able to see so here my clock was this and the current state was s one because my input value becomes one here so here its input value is equal to zero so if my input value is equal to zero the output will be zero as usual let us compare with this thing right it will be easy for us so comparing so Okay, let us see. Right now. So here is my current state is S one. So current state now here is S one as usual. So before that, you can, if you can able to see here, the so it was one, right? Here it was input value was one. So S not input value is equals to one, right? Input value is equals to one, and output is equals to one, right? Output I have got one, and the next state will be S two. As you can able to see here, the next state become S two, and the current state will become S one. Current state will become S one as soon as it got the input got zero in the same state. Okay, in the same state it was S one. Now you can check it off. You can compare the values. You can compare and you can see the next state always changes, 
and the current state lies as in S3 only and the always my output remains constant after that you can check it off by giving different different values input values so thank you for watching this video have a nice day